Hey guys, Break here. So, an interesting video today, a bit different. It is reset day, uh, 2.20, 3.20 realm time. And I thought I'd do a bit of flipping and instant auction housing. The kind of thing that is great to do on reset day because things are flying off the uh, auction house really quick because everyone's getting new gear. So I thought we'll try that out and see if we can make any good profits. So I'll just be doing some auction house stuff and talking and hopefully you guys might learn something or maybe you can tell me something that I should do so I can learn something as well. That'd be cool. So um, yeah, let's see how this goes. First up is the gems. So Shadow Ruby selling for 1400 and Masterful selling for 2200 So you know, I'm making 800 gold per Blood of Sargeras, which is great. So why don't we buy out 20 of these? Craft 20 gems, see how long it takes us to sell those 20, make a quick 20k. Probably not that long. What else have we got? Let's look at the other gems. Dawn lights. See what they're saying. Okay, look at that. Hardly anything. So we could res uh I was gonna say we could reset the dawn light price, but someone's put 78 stacks of one, so I'm not gonna buy all those out. But if you're on a lower pop server, you could definitely do that. In fact, because all the gem prices are pretty good, I think I might buy out a load of fell slate, prospect it, and see if we can make a profit. Let's see what. Uh, right now I'm at 1692. 1692. So we'll see how much we spend, and then we'll see how much we can make from the prospecting. Maybe nothing. Maybe we'll lose gold. But at least we'll get the gems that can then be crafted into other things. And the gem chips, since I have rank 3 of the Suramar Feasts. And they always sell really well as well. I've got a lot of bacon. A lot of bacon to use. Um, so yeah, I'm just using Auctionator for the moment. Because for these quick purchasing things, I prefer Auctionator. Um, if I'm doing a sort of mass purchase, I'll use something else. But for the moment, we'll go with Auctionator. So, just buy out these last three. So we're on three, six, nine, two. Now we're on four, three. So we spent about fifty thousand gold, and uh, we'll prospect, see what we get, see what we get. Uh, jewel crafting, mass prospecting, fell slate. Let's try this. So you guys can see in the bottom left my results and we'll see if we get any procs, pandemonite procs, that's what we want guys. That's what we're praying for. So we've got every other proc but Panda there we go, a five pandemonite. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. What else we got guys? What else have we got? Another Pandemonite prox coming, I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. No, we don't want Shadow Rubies. Stop giving us Shadow Rubies. Give us some Pandems. There we go, another five Pandems. That's what I'm talking about. Are we going to get one last proc? Ten left. We've got a load of shadow. How much shadow rubies do we need? A dawn light times four. We'll take that. We will take that. There we go. So we got seven dawn lights, which is about 8k. We got about 20 shadow rubies, which is another sort of 25k. That's 33. We've got five of these, 34. 10 of these, that's 35, 70. Plus all of the gem chips. So we made about 30,000 gold profit, which is not bad at all. But we're going to be making more than this because we can now turn the gems into some crafts with all my blood of Sargeras. You guys always ask how I get so many bloods. I just play the game, guys. I play a lot of the game. And it loves to give me bloods. Uh, we'll make a few of these, not bad profit. So the profit here includes about 300 gold for the blood price. 
sent anything so that's really 374 gold um, this hasn't updated yet but I'm making like 800 gold per blood here so I make a load of those the dawn lights really aren't worth it at the moment so I'll probably just leave them as they are and the pandemonites I will turn into the saber's eyes because look how cheap fury stone is so that's 4100 4,400 4, plus the blood plus like 4,700 and the saber's eyes are all going for around 6k so oh that's only 5k even so we make a good profit make a good profit for all of those so I think we will go and buy a load of we'll buy 10 infernal brimstone 10 fell wart 10 fury stone we'll see what we uh, can do with that we're crafting, we're crafting, crafting every day. Oh no, I'm finally below 400 bloods for the first time in ages. That's fine. Sorry about that. No editing needed, guy. This is live gold making. This is the raw, real deal. No messing about. Let's make a lot of those. No messing about. Should we try and reset some markets as well? I'm feeling pumped up. I'm feeling pumped up. Let's go for the market resets. I've also got an exciting video coming about the gold cap challenge, which you guys need to get pumped about. Remember that old thing? May have some interesting developments in that to share with you, but that will be in the video when it comes out, and I don't know when it's going to come out. At the moment it says all the US realms are offline. I'm like, why are they offline? That doesn't make sense. So, I don't know if that's me or that's them. I have no idea. Um, what are the prices of these? This is an 850. 840, 845. We'll set it for like 70k. 70k, see if it goes. It's a 101 BOE I got from a random dungeon. <laughs> it was quite funny just a random heroic so that was lucky what about chaos crystals they are flying off the shelves at the moment well the enchants are why don't we be a bit naughty do you guys want to be a bit naughty with me I'm gonna buy them all out let's just buy them all out is it a risk yeah because I'm on a big server and there'll be people with a big stock of chaos crystals I can just tell you that now but if you don't buy a ticket you don't win the lottery guys that's what I always say we flip them from 200 gold we sell them for 400 will they sell for 400 no but unless someone drastically undercuts we can start selling for 300 and make 50% profit by uh, this afternoon and with the amount I'm spending, 50 cent profit on these is going to be pretty nice. If you want to flip anything, Chaos Crystals are quite a good thing to flip because they're not that easy to get. You've got to disenchant a lot of things to get Chaos Crystals en masse. And whilst people are disenchanting their gear they get from their boxes today if it's no good, there's a lot more people buying enchants and making enchants today. They're hugely profitable. So, we'll see. We'll see how this works. If it doesn't work, it's a lesson learned for you guys. And you didn't lose the gold, I did. So, either way, you guys can't really lose. It's just me. The only thing I'm worried about is this stack of 200 for 250. I don't really want to have to buy that out. But I'm going to have to if I... Uh, want to complete my flip I mean I could leave it and then just put stacks of one but I want to put high stacks as well so I think we're just gonna buy it out like I say if we can end up selling for 300 gold that'll still be 50 gold or 40 gold profit per um, per crystal times 200 that's like 10k so not bad is it you really need TSM to do this because you've got to scroll macro through all of these. Scroll, 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 scroll. 
But yeah, you guys need to get excited about the uh, Gold Cap Challenge video that's coming out. I'm trying some bold things at the moment. I'm in a bold mood. Bold Breg, that's what they call me. So I asked you guys about the um, music for the videos, and most of you said, nah, I don't bother with music. You prefer the real the real nature of my videos with my Facebook popping off in the background now I know you guys hate that but so thanks for your tips I'll probably leave it with no music for the moment and then we'll see how it goes maybe some videos will have it if it's needed I want to do more like funny video like my patron video I want to do more videos like that because I like making those I mean they're not really machinimas are they but they're like a a low quality low production quality machinima I can do those they're always fun and songs I love writing wow well songs well I love writing songs and raps and stuff and funny songs so I could definitely do some wow well like songs probably embarrass myself but you know people generally like those on YouTube don't they I remember wow Crendor's lucky do song how well did that do Guys, where are the Chaos Crystals? Oh, there's a stack of three. Where have they gone? I don't see them. <laughs> I don't see them. How can I make my enchants? I don't have any Chaos Crystals. Oh god, this is going to take a long time to do. I'm going to have to reload UI. But yeah, if we look at the uh, enchants, they're all making big profits. I reckon if we could reset some of the um, enchanting markets as well. That could work out in our favour. At least some of like the cloak and ring enchant. No, not the rings. Cause, yeah, the ring. Oh, the rings do use Chaos Crystals. We could try that. Before opening up the rest, though, I need to set the price because someone's already probably posted another couple. Or maybe they posted loads. But there we go. Chaos Crystal. Okay, look, someone's already put a stack of 20 and two stacks of 7. Alright, so we can't let them choose the price. We have to choose the price. Alright, we've got to be serious about this 20 and we do like buy up price per item 399 and we'll put uh, you know 10 stacks of 20 on there for 399 and then we'll put um 10 stacks of 10 no 20 stacks of 10 on there for 399 yeah you guys get the picture and then we'll put a load of um We'll put 28 stacks of 1. 28 stacks of 1 for 399. This is the new price, guys. What was the price of Chaos Crystals? You forgot. Oh, this is it. Alright. Let's see. There we go. Look, we are now the, the cheapest price. What does this add up to? A stack of 200. Guess what the stack of 200 is going to be? You know it. 399. There we go. Now we'll get the rest of these off my mailbox, post the rest up, and then we'll start resetting the enchant markets. The good thing is, I didn't overpay for the Chaos Crystals. I mean, I overpaid for that one stack of 200. But on average, I must have spent about 220 per Chaos Crystal. Which, if I sell in large stacks, which I always do, I can get my money back for that anyway. So. I'm not going to lose money from this either way, but we'll see if we can make a cheeky profit. And the other good thing about the enchant markets is that you can always obliterate the enchants and turn it into obliterum and sell the obliterum. So when I do reset them in a bit, if the ring enchants aren't selling at that price, I can always just obliterate. So it's the kind of thing you've got to think about when you're um, manipulating the markets. You know, what's the risk? How can the risk be avoided or at least minimised? What if the worst comes to the worst? You always got to think about the worst. Because things don't always go perfectly. Like there might be some super goblin with a billion gold on my server who has a billion chaos crystals in the bank. And it's just going to absolutely destroy my attempt at the market reset. I'm not aware that there is anyone like that, but you never know. 
you never know. And if there is, hopefully they'll stick with my prize and not try and be annoying because some people love to be annoying. Luckily I've got the capital to buy them out, but like I say, if they're a super goblin, I could be in trouble. But I'm not aware that there is anyone with a huge stock of chaos crystals. So let's just pray that I'm right. But yeah, it's almost four realm time. So in the next hour, people start coming back from work, being able to open up their chests, being able to do the raids. Obviously tonight's going to be big as well. Hopefully the prices will stay around the same by then and we can make some big gold in the process. Some big golds. Look at that, no one has undercutters. No one at all. And my sabers I just sold as well, so that's good. Anyway, this is perfect news. We will sell in stacks of 20. We'll put 20 stacks of 20 up. I will then sell in stacks of 5. We'll put... How many stacks of 5 up, guys? 40 stacks of 5. So that's looking good. What else? What else stacks do we need? Stacks of four is always good because four is used for the enchants. So 40 stacks of four. We'll also put some, um, we'll also put some stacks of one. We'll put another... Oh, look, look, someone's undercut. By one gold. Perfect. So we will put uh, 50 stacks of one. Just slightly undercutting them. Some of you guys might hate me for this. What are you doing? Now the poor people have to pay more. That's the life of being a goblin, guys, I'll be honest. I'll be honest, you've got to take risks. It's all about risk taking, isn't it? But another stack of 200 for my, for my price. And oh, we'll keep these. We'll keep these for my uh, ring enchants. Anyway, let's start inspecting the ring enchants, especially the bindings. Binding of crits. Okay, that's not working. Binding of crit. 1,700. This is what I'm talking about. What do you guys think? Too risky? Nothing's too risky. Don't worry. Unless someone has a big stack of enchants. We can double the price now. Let's look at the other chance. Binding of mastery. We can double the price, guys. The chaos crystals are double the price. We can double the price. Each one is 400, so that's 1600 plus 35 Arcana. It's usually about 20 gold each, so that's 700 plus 16, that's 2300. So if we're selling for 3000 whatever, it's the same price it was before, isn't it? So, things could work, couldn't they? I should probably do this on. Um, TSM, not auctionator. I just prefer doing these more complicated things on, um, not complicated, the more simple things on um, auctionator, such as buying out, whatever. All right, so we can reset to that. So we've now done binding of mastery, we've done binding of crit. What about haste? 
Barney of Haste. Mm. Well, we've got to go all out, don't we? We can keep the prices here for a few days. We'll sell everything. It is a Wednesday after all. Just got to keep on top of it really, don't you? Keep on top of it. Make a thousand, at least a thousand gold profit per each of these I buy and I'm buying a lot again is it risky of course but you don't get anywhere without taking risks all right and buying the verse oh god no one buys verse do they does anyone buy verse it's got a 0.3 sale rate what sale rates are these 0.5 Point six, point five, point three. Whatever. Whatever, guys. Let's just do it. We'll also do the cloaks in a bit. I'm not going to do the necks because um, they're slower to sell. How often do you get a neck upgrade? Not that often. Then again, how often you get a cloak upgrade? Not that often. But more often than a neck, that's for sure. Um, what are the cloak enchants saying? Bind you of Aji. Yeah, we can double the price on these. Well, at least increase it by a thousand gold. Um, binding of strength. Again, we can definitely increase the price on these. For sure. As I said in my flipping and market control video, um, market reset video, you need to have control of every aspect of the market you're trying to manipulate. So because I'm trying to manipulate these, I also have to have control of the Chaos Crystals. It's not so important, the Arcana, that's a lot harder to control because there's so much of it. So I wouldn't even bother with that. Binding of Int. Again, here we go. It's a lot, lot harder to uh, deal with. But now people see, oh, look how expensive the enchants are going for. Let's make a few. Oh, no, look how expensive the Chaos Crystals are. That's fine. We can still make profit. Let's buy out all the Chaos Crystals. My Chaos Crystals, guys. My Chaos Crystals. There'll be very few videos like this on YouTube because people don't usually like to take huge risks whilst recording. But I think it's worth a try. There we go. Okay. Let's go, 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 go. Then we post. Might have gone a little bit overboard, guys, I'll be honest. But like I say, even if we do get undercut, which we will, they're at, you know, bought them for 3k average. They're now at 5k. So even if they end up going for a K less, I'm still making a thousand. And like I say, even if they drop completely down, we will be able to obliterate. I was gonna check the price of obliterum, see if I could do that then, but I think that is a bit too risky because there's usually so much obliterum and there's so many ways to get it. The obliterum isn't the best thing to, um, flip. Amon Avi. 
I'm also going to post in some stacks of five, just because occasionally some guild masters come and just buy out enchants that they can give out to um, members of their guild during the raid. So it's always worth just putting a couple back to be used in stacks of five, because again, those can always sell for more, even if uh, you know, even if people have undercut you, people will buy out the stacks of five if it's worth their time. Some people seem to think their time is worth a lot of gold, so got to make the most of that. All right, should we check our chaos crystals? See what they're saying. How badly have we been undercut? That is the risk. So one person tried to be funny, but everyone else knows exactly where we are. They know exactly what we're doing. I won't buy out everyone who undercuts me, but I will buy out a few for the moment because I want to try to keep the price there for as long as possible. So people get the picture of who's in command here, who's in control. Another great thing to reset today is the Suramar Feasts. All raid leaders try to buy them up today for use in their raids and they can sell for a lot more than this. Look, the market value is 1300. We will reset to 1500. Make 500 gold per feast, selling stacks of 10 and 20. Um, and then we'll also reset the bacon market because those two are obviously very much intertwined. If we go look at the bacon, um, there you go. Easy, easy to reset. We're going to run out of gold. We've got to send some over. Now we're not. I'm fine. But um, yeah. This should be interesting. I don't know if I'll release the video and then do another video showing the sales and results or should I just keep this video going for a day or two. I kind of do want to release a video today so I think probably I would just will release the video. And then um, I'll show you guys how it all goes in the new video. And you'll all be like, oh no, it's not going to work. You're going to be crying to this next video, saying you lost all your gold. But who knows, guys. Fortunately, it's not all my gold. I don't suggest doing this if you're going to be spending all your gold doing it. You need to have a pretty decent um, idea of the markets, and you need to have a pretty decent liquid gold supply because people are going to undercut you you're going to have to buy out people and you're going to have to not mess about that's the most important thing you cannot mess about with this because if you mess about people are going to think you're weak and they're just going to give up with you but instead you show them you're strong, people are going to go with your market value and they're not going to mess about. Like I say, you've got to show that you're in control. You're in control of this market, no one else's. It's yours. It's all yours. Take it. Just like my epic speech. Um, okay, there we go. And there we go. Okay, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. All right. Let's get opening again. This is why I always tell you guys to try buy the mats as cheap as possible. You know, spam in trade chat. Look for, want to buy for this value, whatever. Because if you can build up a stock of mats you bought really cheap, when someone resets a market, you can make huge profits. You know, I'm having to reset all of the different markets. 
but if there's someone who bought a load of bacon when it was 50 gold and has thousands of it how much profit are they now going to make now that I've doubled its price so always try and buy as cheap as possible because you never know when that's going to come in handy so I put the bacon in stacks of 30 because 30 bacon with rank 3 feasts can make 10 feasts so that's going to be a pretty good value but I'll obviously mix things up a bit more than that I'll do some stacks of 10 and I'll do some stacks of 1 obviously just to leave a little bit of a wall up so no one is gonna mess about where's my bacon there it is break down that wall if you dare look what's starting to sell guys the enchants which I flipped for double they are now starting to sell some noob goblins trying to be funny trying to lower the market price 30 stacks of one no thanks I'll buy those up all day every day I will buy those up there we go the price is still pretty stable a couple of people trying to be funny I wasn't laughing though so look at this, people already undercutting me, but they're only cutting me by one gold, which is great. Again, only one person undercut, so that's all going well. Okay guys, so we've had our first competition, real tough competition spring up. As I say, I'm playing on a high pop server. There's a lot of people with a lot of crystals. So 40 stacks of 10. This one person's put up, another one's put up 20 stacks of 20. Both massively undercutting me. As they always do, people are stupid. Anyway, I am fine with this. As, like I say, on average I bought these for about 220, 225 gold each overall. Um... We can check that. In fact, well, actually that's the price of all of them I ever bought, but... Most are there, so yeah, I'd say about 200 to 220 was the average price I bought these for. Um, and I am still going to sell them for more than that, so that doesn't matter. I am mostly interested in the ring enchants. We have to reset Chaos Crystals if we want to re reset ring enchants. And um, yeah, they're selling. Oh, another one sold. So that's all good. Got to keep on top of these. So that's what I'll be doing for the next half an hour or so. Fun times. So on my US server, all the goblins had a uh, like a chat channel where they could discuss their own sorts of things. Like market resets. I might make one for this server, to be honest. It would be useful. The uh, other big competitors gone, been bought out or cancelled, but... The 40 stacks of 10 are still here. I mean, I could buy all these out, but it's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk that I don't really want to take. Because right now I'm still making big profits, whatever I sell at. But if I start buying out a 300 gold the whole time, then that's going to be a huge risk. And it's going to upset my the cheap prices I paid mostly for the Chaos Crystals. So I think we'll just leave it. Hopefully this person gets bored out, but I doubt it. Um, yeah. I just need to kind of make a, a chat channel, I reckon, so we can kind of discuss between us goblins, because that works so well on the US, and obviously here doesn't quite work. But the uh, enchants continue to sell for about double what I paid for them, so cannot complain about that. Yeah, if we look at the price per item I paid for the Chaos Crystals, it's all usually around 190 a couple for 200 but mostly less than 200 Uh 250 again, um, but that's about the highest. So I reckon it's going to be about 200 and 
210, 220 average is what I paid, um, which is actually really nice. I then bought uh, 190 and then 300, that was the highest, but that was just a stack of 29. But the price has stabilized at 300 gold, which is really good for me because it means I can make profit from the Chaos Crystals and it also means the enchants continue to sell because they can't be massively undercut, so that's great. I'd love to do this on a lower pop server where there's less competition and less goblins able to match me, but maybe some of you guys can try, see how it goes. I'm also running Sniper right now on my other account, so if I do get anything pop up, I'll let you know what it is and how much I can make from it. But, yeah, usually I'm too slow on Sniper. I used to be professional Sniper, but now I'm um, too slow, way too slow. Look, someone's just gone 270 with nine stacks of 20. Again, pretty stupid. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take out a few of these and put them all in stacks of 200. Because my major chance now of selling as high as, like I say, it doesn't matter if I can't sell so high, but my major chance now is selling in stacks of 200. And someone who just wants to mass buy. So I will put a few stacks of 200 up and that will uh, keep the price relatively steady. At least the absolute max stack price. No one else has put stacks of 200 luckily so um, get rid of these stacks of 20 as well. Actually no I won't. I'll get rid of these stacks of 4 and then just post load it 200 stacks up. That would be nice. We'll quickly check the undercuts for my enchants. They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. They're not fine. They're probably not fine. And they're not quite fine. And what about these bad boys? And the Saber's Eyes. You just gotta keep doing this every um, every few minutes, guys because things are selling so quick you might as well just AFK and uh, keep doing this for as long as you can be bothered because that's going to help you sell for as much as possible. But yeah I am going to start doing videos on more interesting sorts of gold making at the moment I mostly do kind of crafting videos because most of my gold at least the past few expansions has always been made through crafting and whilst it still is, I think I can make pretty decent, if not better, gold from sniping, from flipping, from market resets, all that kind of good stuff, that interesting stuff. Um, I need to set up some shopping operations so I can start buying things cheap. I also want to start flipping BOEs. I know a lot of people are into that market. I haven't been into that market in a while but all of those things are things I'm pretty interested in doing myself and I think you guys would like to see them so we're gonna mix up the crafting with some of these extra things and that's just gonna increase our gold as well as I always say the amount of gold you make directly correlates with the number of markets you're in that's why I always have every profession because that means I'm in as many profession crafting markets as possible, but I should also really be in every sort of gold making, such as the flipping and the BOEs, etc. Because again, that will increase my gold revenue. So you want to get in as many things as possible. You don't want to go all in to as many things as possible until you know it. But once you know it, um, it's going to be all good. So I've got another couple of stacks of 200 I can now post. Um, where are we for my 399 price? 
three stacks of 200. There we go. Very nice. I'm just going to check the price of Obliterum. It's pretty risky to try and reset it. Yeah, there's way too much Obliterum up. I'm not going to do it. This is quite funny. Look, I don't know if you guys can see actually. Um, no, you can't see. Now you should be able to see. I'm on my alt where I'm doing my sniping. This is my bank character. Have a look at the um, enchants. Bregalad has bought them out. <laughs> I bought I bought out loads of my own enchants to reset them. That's quite funny. So someone's undercut my Surimar feast, but I'm not gonna be bothered about that because I'm selling stacks of ten. So we'll leave them to do that. We'll go through the enchants again. Keep undercutting. Got a lot of enchants to sell, so. We're just going to keep on undercutting till we sold them all. And then we can start crafting some more. Because uh, the Chaos Crystals I bought for pretty cheap. And right now they're quite expensive. So we'll be able to make some nice profit from my own crafting of the enchants from the Chaos Crystals. I've got a load of bloods as you can see. So that's not going to be a problem. Um... Those are all the bindings. Binding of crits. Binding of haste. Where's binding of mastery? There it is. There it is. Uh, what else we got? My cloaks. I think I just reset all those. Have a little look. No, I didn't. Um, intellects and strength we just did strength actually but whatever I um, just want to check my bacon as well what's the bacon saying at the moment oh a snipe a potential snipe no that's a rubbish snipe um, slice of bacon yeah, my stacks are still generally the lowest. We'll leave it like that. A load of my masterful shadow rubies just sold. Like we say, making about a thousand gold per blood for those. Or well, 800 gold, was it? So that's real nice. I was supposed to be going to a normal raid in a bit, but I don't think I can be bothered. I'm going to stay here, see out my sales. Can pug a normal raid anytime. Pugging heroic tonight as well. Don't know if you guys heard, I got a heroic kill Jaden down. Pretty professional, I know. Where am I? Got the uh, new colour for my artifact. Now I'm a professional PvE. Not only do I have the challenge artifacts, but I've got the heroic kill Jaden colour. That's what I'm talking about. It's funny because I actually never PvE, but since I joined this like, guild, it's quite fun. So I just uh, have been doing a bit of that. I used to RBG quite a lot, but I've never really like, progress raided. I don't know if you can call heroic progress raiding. I guess you can. But I've just never really progress raided. Um, so it's quite interesting for me at least. To see what it's all about, what all the fuss is about. 22. Just broke the auction house. Am I being disconnected? What's happening? Oh, I'm being disconnected, guys. That's always fun, isn't it? Oh no, I'm back. Breg's back. Guess who back? Back again. Guess who legs? Legs again. I mean, we could try reset some neck enchants. Um, see how it goes. Oh, another snipe. A 900 girdle for 21k. I know you guys can't see this. I'm on my other screen. At least I don't think you can see it. No, you can't. 
Um, what do we think for that? Twenty one K for a girdle. What's it worth? I'm really not good with uh, BOE stuff. There's an eight eight five for sixteen K. There's a nine there's loads of nine hundreds for twenty one K. You gotta be so careful with um TSM because it will often uh, TSM sniper because it will often pop up with a uh, saying you're making it's only 60% market value especially with the BOEs because it gets very confused with BOEs but then you always got to check what the um, prices of all the others because sniping BOEs is always a bit risky it's much better just to uh, do a shopping search for all of them and then see which ones might be worth flipping Sniping is very risky. Anyway, enchant neck marks. Should we reset these? Let's do it, guys. Let's just reset them. Let's reset them. Let's have a bit of fun with it. Um heavy hide. Yeah, we can reset that. Only problem is these are slower to sell, but at least they still do sell pretty well. And again we're lagging or disconnecting or something. And we're back. And we are back, I hope. Mark of the Claw. Uh, that sells alright, doesn't it? The problem with these is they're already pretty expensive. Like Hidden Satire, no way am I resetting that. There's way too many of them. Um, same with Trained Soldier. The Claw I could reset if my TSM started working. Let's uh, go back on it. Oh look, another of my gems sold. Enchant neck. Sorry for the creak, the creaky chair, guys. My apologies. Okay. Um, heavy hide. Yeah, we'll do heavy hide, and we'll do the claw. Definitely not doing all of them. It's not worth it. But these do require a lot of chaos crystals to make, so there shouldn't be too many people able to undercut so much. Oh, let's buy out these three, put them at 5,000. Um, ancient Priestess. Hmm. I didn't sell very well, I'm not going to bother with that. The Claw sells a lot better. It's always useful to look at um, sale rate. Oh look, oh no, this is just me winning auction. It's always useful to look at sale rate, guys, because often things will be much um, have a much higher, like a 0.5 compared to a 0.2. It means it sells like two and a half times as quick on average. So it's a very quick way on TSM just being able to see. Oh look, that's worth selling or Oh look, that's not worth selling. Um, we'll reset those to 5k. Anything else? Probably not. I mean these two sell well, but there's way too many of them. I don't want to risk it. Let's go, 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 go. Oh no, we're down to 23k. So how much gold have we spent today? If I load up the uh, auction house when I first started buying things. I'm looking back on my videos. Seeing what we can see guys. 
we've spent 1.7 mil. 1.7 mil. So if we can, um, and a load of blood of Sargeras. So it's probably more than that. And we're going to surely be making 50% profit on most things. So we may well make a million gold. We'll definitely make 500k, that's for sure. As long as everything keeps going as well as it's going. Maybe I'll get a legendary. You guys ready for the legendary? Vendor for 25 silver. No thanks. I'm lagging out nicely now. It's because I'm snipey on my other account. I'm going to get an SSD so hopefully uh, my load screens and lag won't be so bad when I'm playing on uh, two accounts. I've been trying to farm the uh, Void Talon of the Dark Star recently. It's a great little mount. Oh, hang on. I could have res I could have bought that out and reset it to more. But I'm not that evil. I bet this video is going to get a load of hate from people. Ah, uh, you're resetting the market. Why are you doing that? Next time I'm going to do this on my alt, on my alt account because it's going to make it so much easier. I wouldn't have to babysit and I could have actually gone and done LFR or something at least on my main kind of AFK'd. Um, oh, that's a lesson for next time. Always got to learn lessons. Someone posted a ton of stacks of 20 of the Suramar Feast, but that's fine because they're still way more than what I bought them for, though they're still at the price that I set them, so that's good. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. I also made a little um, shopping list in Auctionator. I'm using Auctionator for this. I think it's easier for stuff like this. Um, so I made my stuff. You just search for something, then you can add it. So now everything I need is here. So I just press the Enchant Next, say. And then it will come up real quick with... The next that I have look, they all haven't been undercut, so that's great. Again, we'll go to the ring. See what that's saying. Vantus Rune Croesus has popped up on the sniper. I mean, who's going to use Vantus Rune Croesus anymore? Nobody. Okay, so this all means that I'm still the cheapest, but then others aren't. That's fine. Enchant Cloak. Oh, look, loads of my enchants are now selling. How exciting. Uh, they're all cheapest again. I think I sold all my deadly eyes already. Yeah, I did. What about my masterful shadow rubies? They're all still cheapest. My saber's eyes have all sold, I think, as well, or most of them. I'll, uh, a couple of them are still there as cheapest. Um, the chaos crystals, I think, it's still at that 270 price, which is fine for me. Yeah, all good. All good. This is going to end up being a long ass video. And I bet it's going to get a load of hate as well, but in terms of usefulness for making gold, I think it's pretty useful, so I'm just going to keep it as long as it needs to be. Okay, I've got a few of them on the auction house. Oh, Breaker's Bank has a few in his bags. Why has he got a few in his bags? I need to post them. Um... Oh, a pet has shown up for 5k. And it got sniped. See, when, I, uh, when I'm when i being too busy talking to you guys, I'm missing precious snipes. That pet was worth 20k. It's alright. Um, I'm just going to post this on my uh, alt character. I'm sorry you guys can't see the alt character. promise I'm doing something, I'm not just making it up. There we go. Now guys, this is how you deal with the big undercutters. So this guy was undercutting my rings by 400 gold each, which was upsetting, so I just whispered in, was nice. Told him that if we just undercut by a little bit, everything's much better. And um, yeah, he actually seemed to listen. Well, well, let's hope he's listened. I bought out some of his 400 undercuts. Just because I don't want people to um, 
Well, I only put like two up of each. Um, but I don't want people to undercut him and then we start going downhill. That's why you've always got to stay on top of these things. When you're undercut by one gold like this, everything's perfect. If you're undercut by uh, by 300 gold, that's when things get bad. Because then if you undercut the person that undercut by 300, they they might go again and undercut you by another 300 and suddenly you're making way less than you should do. So that's an important thing to always bear in mind. Oh look, I've only got 2k. How sad. Okay, it's the same person. Hopefully that will get bought soon and then everything's fine again. And everything's good in the world. But yeah, things are selling pretty well, pretty quick. I'm just going to open up a few of my... I wanted to save my mails, but actually I'm going to open them because I really need the gold and I can't be bothered to send it from another character. Oh yeah, guys, I really wanted to know, for any of you who are good at TSM, is there any way for TSM gold graph to show all of the... Um, all of the gold from both your accounts. So I have two accounts and TSM can recognize what items I have on both accounts. Um, but it doesn't seem to, the gold graph doesn't seem to recognize the two accounts that so I can only pick people from my uh, my main account and not my other account, which is sad. Does anyone know how to fix that for the player gold graph? Look at this guys, someone just reset shadow rubies to weigh more than the Masterful Shadow Rubies, which is interesting. Anyway, luckily I have a load of Shadow Rubies that I bought earlier for uh, 1,500 gold, so this will be an interesting flip if it works. I'm not going to undercut by hundreds like everyone else does. I undercut by gold. could even undercut by copper, but I usually prefer undercutting by gold. Another trend I'm starting to notice is I get undercut much less frequently for the more expensive items and for the items that require bloods. So a great item to flip may well be the items that require bloods. Because obviously, even if you're a massive goblin on your level 1 with, or even on your level 110 with hundreds of millions of gold, there's only a certain amount of bloods you can have, so there's only a certain amount of things you can actually craft. So yeah, stuff like uh, gear and gems, I'm getting undercut way less on the gems even. Um, whereas like the enchant rings, I'm getting undercut uh, the most on by far which is because they don't require many materials and they don't require blood, so it's an interesting thing to think about. Well, everything's still selling. I'm gonna go to the gym now though, so hopefully when I'm back some stuff will have sold and then for the raid tonight I'm gonna transfer all these auctions on to my alt account and I'll start selling them on there so I can reset them after every boss in the raid because those raid times are going to be when everyone's buying them, and especially after the raids, etc. So, hopefully, that will be a successful little thing. But things are going so well, way better than I actually thought they would. Um, yeah, because I spent about half a million on the Chaos Crystals, and then I spent about a million on the, uh, the various enchants, flipping them. Uh, and the enchants are selling really well, and the gems, of course. Um, yeah, the bacon and chaos crystals are still relatively unmoving, but that doesn't matter because both of those I can use. Both of those I bought pretty cheap, so I can always sell them off eventually. And also both of those I can use to make the other things I'm flipping, so worst comes to the worst, I'll just use them to create stuff. But yeah, if I'd had to guess right now, we're looking at between half a million and one million gold profit 
depending on how low the gems and enchants drop. If they keep selling for these prices, I'm looking at well over half a million profit. And also depending on what I can do with the Chaos Crystals and if someone buys them up. Because if you have a look, the price has gone down quite a bit. But the... Okay, someone undercut with stacks of 50. But anyway, I'm the only stacks of 100 on there. So if someone is looking to buy in bulk, I've still got a small chance. But anyway, like I said, they're still way more expensive than what I bought them for. So I'm very pleased about that. Okay guys, so uh, back from the gym, a few more things have been selling, um, including some of the bacons in stacks of 10, which is selling for about double what I bought it for, which is nice, and a few more things. Probably won't wait until everything's sold, because that's going to take all day and evening. And I do want to get the video out, but I might, I, I don't know actually, I might wait. We'll see what I'm feeling. Um... But yeah, it's good. I'm learning a lot of lessons. Whenever you do something like this, you've got to make sure you learn lessons. What worked, what didn't, what can you do better next time, etc., etc. Well, for anything in life, but obviously for this as well. Now, what was I doing? Not our Prophecy. Shadow Ruby, that's the one. Let's see what price the Shadow Rubies have gone back down to. <laughs> They're still ridiculously high. Surely no one's going to uh, buy them for that price. Um, but anyway, I'm going to craft a few more Masterful Shadow Rubies. Because uh, compared to what I bought them for, they're going really well still. They sold so quick. How many Masterful Shadow Rubies have I sold today? Uh, revenue. Masterful Shadow Ruby. Like 12 Shadow Rubies I sold within the space of like an hour, so that's really nice. I think we'll make another 10 or so. There you are. And we will put the rest on as the raw gems just to see if anyone's silly enough to buy them for that price. All my Saber's eyes are all selling as well, which is good. One sold immediately. People love these. Then again, I use these as well. Oh, and another enchant ring. Anyway, yeah. Um, I will probably go to the raid. Move all of these over to my alt. And just keep resetting them for the rest of the evening. Um, and then... At like 11 or 12 tonight, I'll finish the video. We'll see what's sold. We'll see what hasn't. I'll put the video out. And then um, we'll go from there. I kind of want to put it out earlier than that because I haven't done a video in a day or two. But I've been, I've actually been doing quite a few things. Just haven't quite had the chance to finish a video. I've got a load of videos half recorded, including my adventures on the US realms, which hopefully will be working soon. I've got to sort that out. But yeah, things are going well. Hey guys, just got finished raiding. So I was doing a bit of undercutting on my alt account whilst I was in the raid. And things are still going quite well, things are still selling. I've sold all of my gems now. And I've sold some Chaos Crystals in stacks of 100 for more than I bought them for. Um, so that was good, made a bit of profit off of those. Still got a few enchants, by a few I mean quite a lot, and some feasts still to sell. But we'll leave these going over the evening and the night. And in the next couple of days, we should have sold them all off. If the price drops too low, I'll probably reset it again. Because, uh, yeah, I'm impressed. The enchants are still double what I got them for. So that's been really good. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little video sort of record of my adventures this reset day. I think it went pretty well. I definitely learnt from my mistakes. I'm probably not going to bother too much with Chaos Crystals because surprisingly it doesn't seem to affect the enchant prices too much. 
uh, and people just have too many uh, too much stores so it might work on your server but on mine it seems there's too many chaos crystals going around as for everything else again the gems and the enchants which require bloods have le less competition obviously so that's good uh, bacon's been flipping pretty well actually still got a few more of those um, but yeah we'll try again next reset day for sure do some different things probably try some uh, flasks and herb well definitely flasks anyway flipping but that is it for me thanks very much for watching everyone and until next time see ya